Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM Silver Bullet on Friday, September 1st. This is after NFP. Okay, and we're going to go candle by candle. I'm going to show you what I how I took a trade during the Silver Bullet hour. And right now, NFP was right here. Okay, it wicked up, well, wicked all the way down and ended up up here. Okay, and then it kind of ranges. All right, well, what we did was we took out buy side liquidity on a weekly chart right here okay and then we have we, we're creating all these relatively equal highs right here and there's sell side liquidity down here but we created all these relatively equal highs and then we took that buy side again right so now we came up and we came all the way down and we took out sell side down here now, because we took out the weekly, okay, and there's another days in here that it came out as well. That's a that's a, very, a higher time frame uh, liquidity that's been taken. So we're looking for shorts. I know we took out liquidity here, but we're expecting a pullback to keep continuing going short. Okay, that's where my draw of liquidity is. <clears throat> this was the high of the of the weekly candle. I'm expecting a pull back into the 20 to 30 percent range like ICT teaches so when we take this out I'm expecting lower prices okay now it may have missed it here you may have thought that but now that we're pulling back we want to see can it pull back into optimal trade entry so we pull our fib from high to low and here's optimal trade entry okay well when we look what do we see at optimal trade entry we see a fair value gap right there right now it's a pretty good size for a value gap. It's, you know, five, five and a half handles. So what we'll do is we'll also throw another fib on there, which is our premium and discount. So we know where our, our consequent encroachment is, right? So now we're, not, we're looking for this specifically level to be hit. That's ideally, we'd love that to be hit. That's our perfect entry spot right in here where we're looking for our entries, okay? That'd be ideal. So let's just see how this goes. I will buy and sell as we go. Yeah, that big candle at 10 o'clock. Then big up candle. Just kind of watching how this goes. There's a lot of manipulation on NFP and even afterwards. So you just got to kind of play it, let it play out. Get closer to optimal trade entry starts here, but it's really 70 and a half. But this is where we're trying to get in our range right here. Be ideal. Getting closer. We're in our range. All right, right there. I'm going to sell two right there. It hit the consequent encroachment of this fair value gap. Okay. It's at optimal trade entry. On this, on optimal trade entry, your stop is supposed to go above here, right? At seven and a half handles. I don't trade with seven and a half handles. So max I'd go is five. And then we're going to target the low down here. Target that low. Okay, I'll take partials, about 60%, so somewhere right in here. I'm probably below these lows. Let's see what happens. Not liking the wick to the new week opening gap. Not a huge fan of that. Let's see how it reacts there again. I'm chopping around right here, building up some liquidity. Okay, so I see. So if you were going to try and enter up here the way I normally would enter, besides an optimal trade entry, this is our optimal trade entry. I'm going to move this real quick, just so you see. This would be our normal. This is my optimal trade entry, uh, where I bought right here. But now I have this, this 
market structure shift here on the lower time frame obviously so I would like to see and there's a fair value gap right here so if we got back into that this is where you can take a trade right here I'd probably have a limit order right here and see what happens here okay so I'm just going to show you because I'm already in the trade here I'm going to show you because this fill is horrible I would have sold right here okay I would put my short right there and then still aiming for this which is one to three risk five which is still above our optimal trade entry area and down here I'm not taking another one here because I'm already in a trade with the optimal trade entry and this fill is horrible but I wanted to show you where this would be so this would be trade number two that you could have taken right here right here you're getting a little worried you're like oh great did I just mess it no it's you're still good and funny thing enough I would have had to be taking a partial about here for both of them so it's kind of works out pretty decent get it close from there to there and I need a little bit more no Maybe didn't get it. If you get a close below this low right here, I'll take a partial. Close. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna take a partial off here buy one there. My stop would be at break even, so let me move my stop here. Show you where my trailing stop is. I might actually I'm gonna remove this one this one right real quick. Because I'm gonna put on the one I'm actually in. I can see where my right about here would be my where my stop would be. Now if I get much lower here, um, down in this range I'll be trailing it to, you know, all these swing highs here. Okay, so there, I'm moving my stop right here. If that didn't take you out, which it probably did, I'm moving my stop way down here. Might even go this far just because it's so far up. And uh, let's see. Okay, I'll flatten there. Okay, let's move our stop. Move this in. Let's throw in the other one here. Okay, so they both would have been traded into right there. Let's keep going to see how the rest of the hour plays out. Okay. Okay, let me take off these short positions here and we'll go through this. All right, so we know that today was Friday, the 1st of September. NFP was at 8.30 Eastern time. And so it came down, created a new low, took out liquidity, and then came up and took out a weekly high, right? So it took out buy side liquidity on the weekly time frame, And then it created, you know, it consolidated, created... Uh, relatively equal highs we took those out so we are definitely going short here where our bias is short on our weekly candle this is obviously the high of the weekly candle we know that on Fridays it tends to pull back into the 20 to 30 percent range from the top so we're looking for it right now we're, we're at the very high of that weekly candle on Friday after NFP we know that we're gonna have a pullback right we can actually mark that range and find out how far we have to go but we know we're, look, we're looking for shorts at this point. So price comes down, trades all the way down, and you may have thought, hey, we missed it. But, you know, again, we're still looking for shorts. 
takes out sell side liquidity. We pull our FIB to find out where our optimal trade entry is. We see that in optimal trade entry, we have a fair value gap. We take the range of that fair value gap, gap to find out where consequent encroachment was, the 50% line, and that was ideal our target. Price came up, yes, it came down and up, you know, wicked up through a new week opening gap above the 830 opening price. And but it came up and the candle bodies stopped right at consequent encroachment, right there. When it hit that, we took our trade, optimal trade entry, trade. Price came down and created a market structure shift, left behind a fair value gap. That's where our second entry could have been. So we take our trade here, second trade here, where are we targeting below this low or the the midnight opening price. We take a partial about 60% and we got out of our trade. That is your two silver bullet trade setups for Friday, September 1st after NFP.